David Turner, Shave Your Knuckles for Justice. So who's going to lead this movement into a third party after Dem exit? Bernie proved that, that we can crowdfund it. Tulsi, Graham, Kyle, Jimmy. I mean, I would do it. I would lead a third party. I mean, oh yeah, I mean, I would definitely join in. I mean, if we if, if yeah, we I'm create in. like a know. new whatever it is, I mean, I would be like registered right away. <laughs> like, let's get on it. Yeah. Uh, but we need big, pe- you know, like as much as I love us, you know. Um, <laughs> right. I just we're think not. We need. To- we need <laughs> big people. We need people with millions of followers <laughs> yeah. and tens of millions of do- like. Un- the sad reality is. Well, you need an entire movement. Like you would need everyone in Sunrise to be like, all right. We're registering. Yeah. You would need everyone in the yes. DSA yeah. to be like, this is what we're doing. We're registering. Even yeah. the Greens would be like, okay, this is what we're doing. We're registering. So there would need... Like, All these union coalitions. Unions. Would, yeah. 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 Like everybody would have yeah. to be like, this is what we're doing now electorally. And we're starting a- as big as president and as small as school board. Yes. That's what needs to happen. I don't yeah. know. And, and I'd be you know what? Actually, that. when you... When you um... I don't know if it's, if it's good to start doing a full ticket. If it's if the third party should run a full ticket. Well, not all not because, all of it right away, but I mean like the way it would unroll. It was just one of the mistakes that was made studying the bull moose. It was actually one of the big mistakes they made was was the insistence on running a full ticket. And it's like if they would have just stuck with the president, then they would have made more change and then trickle down eventually. Possibly. Really, you think mm-hmm. that's a that that was the historically what showed that would be better than having a grassroots with more people on the the lower levels? Yeah, because what they found with the bull moose um, was that what had happened was people felt they they were too afraid to join the party. You had a lot of real progressives inside the Republican Party at the time, because um, you know as Republican progressives, believe it or not, that's they and they were they are, the platform is almost the same as what we want. And they um, they were afraid to split totally from the Republican Party because they didn't want it to affect the down ballot candidates. And they really felt like in their in their regular districts, you know, in their home states and wherever that people just weren't weren't going to they just didn't really think that that would work. And so what happened was a lot of them ended up sticking with the Republican Party and not fully jumping ship to the bull moose. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the problems that they had. And the bull moose, you have to remember you know, when that party was formed, it was Teddy Roosevelt. He had already served. He was a two, he had already served two terms, I believe. And he was that was going to be his third. One he term. then didn't like um, he served one term. That's what we just got clear. Taft. Yeah. Was it? Did he only serve one? Yes. yes, that's what Aaron just said he found online. So he served one term and then he was and then Taft replaced him. And he didn't feel like Taft was very progressive. And so he ran against him in the bull moose. And that was an extremely popular president. I mean, you need, like we need Bernie Sanders. No, we need, we need someone to. with that big of a movement. That's why like if Bernie did it and brought Tulsi and AOC and some of those squad people with him, it would be like everyone would start to get on board. You know? And people right, no, from no, the right. Aaron, Aaron was wrong. It was two terms. You were right. Yeah, that's Kim. what I thought. I thought he'd served two terms. And then he handed the baton to Taft, thinking that Taft would be a progressive that would step in his shoes and and lead the country in the right direction. And Taft ended up becoming a corporatist. And Roosevelt was like, what the hell is going on? Uh, this is, cannot happen. Yeah, they and he came see. back and said, I'm going to run against you. And what was really amazing, Teddy Roosevelt was like a badass. He got shot the day of the convention. Somebody shot him, an assassination attempt, and he was like, psh, brushed it off and went back and went into the convention and said, I'm giving my speech anyway. Wow. <laughs> yeah, trying to win over the people. I got a problem. And, you know, we got to take down the corporations. We need to be a movement for the people. I mean, he was such a badass. He got shot and he still went in there and said, I'm going to stick it to you. Aaron, what was that? Sorry, he was he was uh, elected to one term. He took over for McKinley when McKinley was assassinated in 1901. Oh, okay. He was vice president. Roosevelt? Yes. Was vice president. He was. And McKinley got shot, and that's when he became his president the first time and then got reelected. Then he got reelected, yes. I see. Oh, okay. Yes. And see. then he was reelected. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks for that clarification. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And he was super, super, super popular. And that's what would be needed. But what was missing there was the in, they did not bring in any Democrats to form the coalition. Mm. So they just ended up splitting the Republican vote. And actually, Teddy Roosevelt was, as, as a third party candidate, ended up getting second. I mean, behind Woodrow Wilson, who ended up getting he won the presidency that year on the Democratic ticket. 
and Teddy Roosevelt ended up coming in second with like 20 something percent of the vote and Taft, who was the sitting president, got third. Mm -hmm. So it is possible there's enough fire there, you know, Um, but, you know, the mistake there was not bringing in people from the other side. But I think now is a different. Obviously, it's a different day and age. And maybe now people would be more, you know, from the right. I think there's a lot of obviously that's how we ended up with Trump. Oh, yeah. People are very worried about their futures. Yep. That's what he that's what Trump did, man. People, people, uh, people on the left don't want to really examine. They only want to look at and Trump said a lot of offensive, xenophobic, you know, sexist crap. He absolutely said that. But he also said, hey, working class white person, you've been screwed over by NAFTA, by the Republicans, by the Democrats. And he would do speeches in front of closed factories all throughout the middle of the country. And when Hillary was flying from coast to coast doing, you know, ten thousand dollar yeah, hanging out in dinners, the cities, not going to the middle at all. Not going and to the middle. And then she at all. would lose these Rust Belt states and yes. wonder why. And wonder why. And that's what he did. He said, Hey worker, I've got your back. No, it's 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 he's been in office and hasn't helped them. He's one point no. five trillion dollar tax break and he's Well, and a lot of people didn't really believe him. They just thought I might as well take the it. chance. I remember NAFTA. I remember the first mm-hmm. Clinton. I don't want to take a chance on another one. I'll see what this guy's selling. And yeah. it turns out it was snake oil. But, it's, yeah, but it's I'd rather vote oil. for the snake oil salesman than the Clintons because yeah. I got screwed by them so hard. I yeah, at for, least the yeah. snake oil salesman is trying to tell you he's going to cure you, right? Like yeah. the other ones, they don't even try to tell you that. No. Yeah. They're like, no, no, you're going to die. I get it, <laughs> okay. man. I voted for Bill Clinton. You want 92. a pony? I don't have oh. a pony. <laughs> it's but that other guy's a jerk, isn't he? Right? It's... Do you want the jerk or the not pony? Make a choice. <laughs> the jerk or the not pony. I voted for Bill Clinton in ninety two, and in ninety six I voted third party because I'm like, this guy's nonsense. He's a Republican. Like I I can't I I was done with the Clintons in ninety six, man. Done. Hey everybody. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification button and the subscribe button, even if you've done it before because they're unsubscribing many of you every day. Watch the ads all the way through. If you click skip ad, I don't get paid. Also, support us at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. Rockfin.com is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. All my videos are on Rockfin ad free. Thanks for watching.